hello welcome thank you guys for coming to my channel i'm gonna show you how i do teriyaki five spice flanking short ribs okay and some lo mein and i'm not gonna do much show the bok choy but i'm not gonna talk too much i want you guys to kind of vibe with the video okay Some of these items, they're not necessarily hard to find at all, um, but it's easier to have more choice if you go to your local Asian market. slice thinly slice this lettuce I'm sorry <laughs> this cabbage and thinly slice that for that moment don't thinly slice lettuce okay <laughs> make sure it's cabbage for the carrots by hand you can actually purchase them shredded but then I don't want to be stuck with a bag of shredded carrots so that's why I chose to do it myself but it's pretty easy There's no like necessarily specific detrimental way to slice. I'm just trying to get them in a, um, more so uniform pieces. So I'm, I'm cutting the celery at a bias just to kind of make sure it's, you know, closer to the thickness of the onion and the cabbage and the carrot. That way when they cook, they kind of cook um, equally. You know, you don't have like super crunchy this and it, everything else is soft. So if you can, it doesn't have to be exact, but just try to make sure the pieces are uniform in size. shopping I thought I was making Thai fried rice even though I knew I was making chow mein or I'm sorry lo mein but for some reason I still purchased certain things for rice so the cilantro <laughs> was supposed to be for that but um I realized that I got it and I love the flavor so I just use it as a garnish so it's not a requirement to have cilantro
Now these are usually full of dirt. So you have to really check between those ribs and get them thoroughly, thoroughly rinsed. Here these are already rinsed and washed completely. So I stop till I get to that center and I leave that hole and I cook it like that. Take off that bottom piece and then you have those leaves, those outer leaves and then that small tender center, okay? I'm using hair scissors right now to cut that. That's all I could find. They're clean. I've only used them once, but they are washed. Because <laughs> I can't find my kitchen shears. So the short ribs, when they're sliced, there's like grit that comes from the bone. And it usually ends up being like these little gritty pieces all over them. And so it's really good to soak them and rinse them and kind of rub off any of that grit. Because you'll taste that later. You'll get like little itty bitty bone fragments as you eat. So please soak them in and rub them down. Here's the marinade. I'll put the measurements in the description, you guys. each ingredient is rushing by I promise you I will do my best to put everything in the description and I will also put chapters The onion is optional. I just love onion. And it, <laughs> it does add flavor though, it really does. But um, it, a lot of people that I know personally don't really like onion. You do not have to add it here, okay? So just assure that you get all those pieces saturated in that marinade, okay guys? And for certain, cover that marinade. one hour minimum but if you can do it the day before please do it the day before it's way better now this is our sauce for our lo mein for the amount of noodles that I use I would definitely double this recipe for the sauce I ended up having to do that um, I was basing it off of one bag so if you use one bag use this exact measurement that I'll put in the description um, 
um, if you use two bags, double it. Just a tiny bit of mirin, not much. I was kind of experimenting putting mirin. Um, so just a tiny bit or none at all. It made a very subtle difference, so it's not it's not like detrimental to have the mirin. got a super super hot pan okay this is for our short ribs we're going to cook these short ribs two to three minutes per side If you have it real hot like that, you'll caramelize that marinade in the beef and it'll give you those really nice um, charred marks. If you do this on an indoor grill or a grill outdoors, it's even better. So now we're going to saute our, or walk fry our vegetables for the lo mein. You don't need to do this for a long time. You just you just want to get these wilted, get these just, just cooked partially. These were in here for a minute and a half, not long at all. So after two minutes, flip that. Look how pretty those look. You see the caramelization? fry our noodles these are pre-cooked uh, follow the directions on your noodle package if you're using fresh noodles or if you're using dry that's the finished ribs there really good Because this is the two full bags that I had. So I took off a little under a half of one bag. Yeah, um, with the meat cooking and everything, all the smokiness, my fire alarm went off. My son, RJ, was right there to fan it, cool it down. I had to open up some doors, but it was smelling good. But these don't take long. You see, we added the vegetables back. They'll cook a little bit more with those warm noodles. We added the sauce as well. That cornstarch will thicken the sauce a bit. Like I just show, you know, in the text, um, some people are not for MSG. I get it. Trust me. Do not use it if you don't need to, if you don't want to. You really don't have to. But it, it to me, it's a necessity. Um, but it's not. You don't have to. You really don't. So two cups of the bean sprouts. 
These go in there last minute because you don't want to cook the mess out. You want to keep the crunch on these. So you just toss these in at the last like 30 seconds. And they'll wilt more with just the heat of the noodle off, off the heat of the stove. So green onions just to kind of give it some prettiness. So I'm not going to show you how I did this. It's literally water, soy sauce, and seasoning. You can stir fry it or do it how you want. It's such a simple side dish. So just showed you what I did and ended up doing with it. So I'm going to garnish with some tomatoes I got from my garden and sesame seed and green onion. And there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed it.